The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Hi, this is Mia Mohsen Zia, also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People Based Upon a Real-Life Relationship, available in print and ebook formats on Amazon. Do read it. I'm sure you'll love it. It's www.miamohsenzia.com and www.amazon.com slash miamohsenzia. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers Designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Hi, this is Mia Mohsen Zia, also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People Based Upon a Real-Life Relationship, available in print and ebook formats on Amazon. Do read it. I'm sure you'll love it. It's www.miamohsenzia.com and www.amazon.com slash miamohsenzia. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, check out the latest novel by well-known award-winning author Me and Motion Zia of No Time for Love called Missing, an extraordinary relationship between two ordinary people based on real-life events that go through four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and the ones you love will be the first to go missing. Check out the book on Amazon and other retailers available on all formats today. Also, The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on themikewagnershow.com and on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, Amazon, Audible, and coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn, and heard worldwide on Radio Public, Himalaya, and Geo7, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel, and follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with a terrific gentleman from New Hampshire who's um, basic, basically an actor. He's also a model, and he is also 
a fitness star, and uh, he also signed out with a big production company, and he's going to be um, in a film with a very well-known comedian from News Radio, and uh, he's going to be uh, best known as Hollywood's Werewolf, and he was also in Vampire Busters, 14 Ghosts, and he was a former Playgirl and fitness star, and also working on a fitness DVD, and runs his own supplement company and fitness segment, and I mean, he's fit, he's pumped, and he's ready to go. Live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios in beautiful downtown New Hampshire, actor and model and spokesperson and the very, very multi-talented Derek Webb. Derek, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, and it's a pleasure having me. It's a great honor to be on your show. It's terrific. Thank you very much. It's lovely. And, and it's terrific to have you on as well, too, in beautiful New Hampshire. So you basically oh, yeah. ha- have lived in New Hampshire for quite some time. You're a former playgirl and fitness star. You work on a fitness DVD. You run your own supplement line, and you have a fitness segment. And you also have, and you're also going to be in a new movie with um, with a well-known comedian. Um, well, how, how do I, it, it, the funny part is my career with everything and how everything got kicked off. It started when I was 15, 14 years old in my garage, to be quite honest. It's kind of weird. It's bad and as weird as that may sound. But <laughs> I, 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 it, 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 it sounds like, uh, what was it, uh, Stephen Jobs or whoever Stephen did? Jobs yeah, or Apple, yeah. Microsoft, and all yeah. that. Everything starts in the garage, and you yeah, know what that's going to lead to. <laughs> it, started, it started in the basement. Uh, but, yeah, it did. It started in my garage. I was about 14, 15. I, you know, I... I yeah, back in school, I you know I had my issues with academics and curriculum activity. I really was one of those kids. I, I honestly, I was a class clown. I acted up. I goofed up. I got in some, some you know some stupid trouble here and there. And I you know after school, I got into a routine. I said, you know, what if I started lifting weights? And I had a weight set in my garage. It wasn't much, but I had a couple barbells and a few dumbbells. And I just got into an issue, a uh, consecutive schedule of lifting weights, and I started pumping weights, hitting the weights every day after school. And that's really, really where it's, I got my foot, everything began. And I started lifting weights. And my older brother, he used to work out there with me and he joined me with the workouts. And he was, you know, he was a great role model and great leadership, for example, to help me push me to where I'm at, honestly, in my career now. And uh, he actually, he's like, yeah, you know, you got to do this. You got to get into a routine with me. And we did it. We made a routine. We made a schedule. We boom, boom, boom after school every day, you know, after work in between school and work and it was like <laughs> and i made it a ritual and to me it became what was supposed to be a little hobby doing after school after lunch after activity kind of a little hobby and living a healthy fit lifestyle became then from a hobby to what turned into be a career aspect because i took uh, for many for a long period of time i was doing i was lifting weights and then i started seeing these commercials and info commercials on tv with uh, these guys doing these phenomenal DVD, workout DVD programs. And uh, back then, I idolized a lot of these folks because, you know, it was like a lot of great people I idolized growing up. You had, like, you know, Richard Simmons, Arnold Schwarzenegger, people who were major into the exercise bodybuilding platform. And I just said, you know, that's I want to be like that. I want to take something – I want to take something extravagant like fitness and working out. I want to take something that makes such a passion, and I want to take something – that is a passion of mine, but yeah, I want to take it and turn it from a hobby into wonder if I could take this and turn it more like into a career and help change people's lives and maybe change my life in the process of doing so. So honestly, I began doing more and more. I started getting more calls from relatives, friends, family peers, local hometown community folks who said, you know, you're looking great. You're in great shape. You know, what's the tip? What's the trick? I started training with people in my hometown, training with people at the local gym, and it just it just kept going and going and one thing led to another and it just took off from there. And I said, you know what, wonder if I could take this now and run with it and start my own basic workout program. And that's what I pretty much started doing. And then what led from that to being in good shape then turned into, I get a tremendous call one day from a guy, Daniel Narcidio, who's the president of Playgirl magazine. And he was like, Hey, you're in great shape. You, you know, we see your image out there. You got these workout programs going and, we'd love to have you do an issue with our, you know, being an adult, <laughs> and it's an adult entertainment magazine. But he goes, you know, we'd like you, we think you'd be a good fit for what they call the campus, quote unquote, campus hunk issue. <laughs> and mm. I'm like, okay, well, I've never done something like that before, but I was like, you know, I'll, I'll give it a shot in the dark. Why not? So, you know, I did it. I took a shot at it and they're like, yeah. And, um, you know, you're going to be contesting in that magazine for being a runner-up for actually what we selected you and several other lucky guys to be runner-up for what we call a real man of the year, too. I was like, oh, no kidding. They're like, yeah, so you and a group of other guys are going to 
go in there as a real man of the year contestants and you guys are going to score in. I was like, Oh, that's pretty cool. And so I ended up becoming in, in their uh, December 2000 and it was back in 2010. Wow. And then their uh, spring of 2011 issue of Playgirl. I was in two different issues of Playgirl magazine. <clears throat> and, um, I was actually a runner up for real man of the year in the 2011 spring edition. And, I had obviously did a nice little graph coral imaging with that, <laughs> you know, as you may, you know, but, um, and so like from there it took off and I was like, wow, you know, I, you know, this bodybuilding thing, which is what I've been doing since 15. Here I am several years later, I'm in Playgirl being 19, 18 year old young guy. Mm -hmm. And now what else could I do with this? You know, if I'm already in Playgirl, I'm getting this image and you know, what under tremendous things could I do with this? You know, then, and so the next thing you know, I'm like getting offered by a phenomenal company, which uh, up to this day, as you may know, they create a lot of the phenomenal workout programs you guys see on TV, uh, Beachbody actually, which creates, you know, the programs you see on the info commercials like P90X. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I, I'm familiar with most of them. Yes. And um, yeah, so uh, they, uh, I got in contact with them and they, they get a great program and a great company. It's, uh, you know, Carl Dykeler, the CEO and John Condon, who's the vice president. CEO, executive president of the company. And they were like, yeah, I mean, if you're interested, you know, we have a coaching program. You can teach people P90X. You can teach people some of our routine programs. And I signed on with them as a pretty much as a basic, like, little subcontract. Nothing's fancy smancy, but a coach and a subcontractor. And I taught people different workout variable routines. And I was on board with them for several years at least. And I would taught, you know, workouts such as I did P90X classes and I taught people some little bit of Shantee stuff and, you know, and it just, you know, I drew attention that way through Beachbody. So it went from Playgirl to Beachbody. And then I just, after a while though, Beachbody and I kind of honestly, it became a thing where I, I loved the company. It was a great, pro, it was a great pro, you know, it was a great program that had great things going on. Um, but unfortunately they weren't really bringing me down the path I wanted, which is getting into my own DVD workout program and getting me into things I wanted to do more or less for myself and draw my own fan base. So I, I kind of parted heads with them and went my separate ways for them. Mm -hmm. And, um, and then eventually ended up on my own. And next thing you know, I'm doing my own workouts, my own routine. And then I end up in a situation I developed over a course of years of working out and just working strongly on it, I developed my own online podcast show. It's at trainmelive.com, which is Derek's Fitness Network. And um, that led to one thing, and that took off, and it drew a good fan base and a lot of people tuning in for that. And then, of course, over a period of time of doing that, then next thing you know, I get um, I get a call from, you know, I spoke to some good production company actually out of Boston, and I spoke to a couple executive producers and production agencies out and out of Hollywood in L.A., and they're like, oh, we've seen some of your stuff. We've seen it online. We've seen it on social media. You're doing great. I mean, would you ever be interested in, like, a fitness DVD? And that's something you ever pursue? And I was like, a matter of fact, that's actually what I'm trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. So like, so, so, uh, so it's I'm not like, you. It's me, P90X. <laughs> what's, what's that? It's not you. It's me, P90X. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Come on now. <laughs> but uh, but uh, I saw, I was like, you know, actually, I mean, you know, these are things I'd love to do. I, you know, I, I've been, these are dreams of mine. I've been doing working out for many years, and I thought that would be something I would love to, you know, do and that's always been a passionate goal of mine and like yeah i mean let's see what we can do let's meet let's talk or let's let's set up an appointment let's talk more and discuss this and eventually i discussed it with a very good production company and a producer who was willing to manufacture and produce the dvd and help me with marketing and designing and there and everyone came to proper agreement we all came to terms and they're like yep let's do up the contract and uh let's start you you know we'll do the fitness dvd and we'll get that get ready to shoot for you it's coming up and um We'll start getting that ready for you sometime by early midwinter. So, which I'm actually, that's in pre production now. I'm scheduled to start shooting it in probably roughly late December, early January, I want to say, time frame for shooting, which I'm very excited about. Mm -hmm. And um, they, so, it's, so we got that going on. And then, obviously, with any fitness program, you got to have beta groups, which beta groups, you know, the test groups for the workout program to make sure that it's going to be what, you know, up to what people's standards are. And, so we got the beta groups coming up and it's, it's just, so that led to that. And I, you know, so here we are working on a, our fitness DVD, which is going to be titled D's extreme, which D's I can't extreme. Wait. Be, Interesting. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's going to be a great phenomenon. It's going to be a DVD and I can, it's going to be working on a lot of upper body balanced coordination, strength, stamina, and stability, because 
what I've realized, and especially there's some car- a good mix of good, you know, cardio cardiovascular activity. It's because I over the time of working out, I've realized a lot of my goal in essence to where I got where I got in with my fitness has been um, tremendously. It's just honestly, it's been with the uh, a lot of it. I got a, you know, it's been a lot of upper body stamina and conditioning and. A lot of people don't realize the importance of mixing in like some of the cardiovascular activity and some of the other things with that. And so I wanted to create something that was like a ball of mixture. It was a mix of everything. So good balance, some good coordination. And so we're going to have a good program and we're in the process of pre-production stage of developing that. <clears throat> and it's going to be phenomenal. And that that alone itself is, like I said, due out early, probably not due out, but shooting scheduled late December, early mid January roughly in that time frame. And um we got then that came to bit life and then I was like, Wow, this is phenomenal. Here I am you know, thirty years old and uh something I worked many years at doing, here I am getting a DVD fitness DVD, you know, deal going on. And then next thing you know, I get you know, I get into talks with some people for some interviews who seemed like, Oh, this is a big deal, a guy creating a fitness DVD, let's have you on air, let's have you come mm-hmm. on for an interview and I did a couple of interviews, and one radio show in particular I did was L.A. Hollywood Talk Radio Network. <clears throat> mm-hmm. And after being on their program and doing an interview, I then got into a good com- got into good communication with the um, yeah, a lady, the producer and the lady who runs that show. She's a really nice lady, sweet lady, and uh, she got me into um, I guess you could say into commotion with a group of people she knows within the Hollywood entertainment industry and. Next thing you know, I'm being, I'm being, I'm looking, I'm like, oh, wow, I'm talking to some really good known film producers and film directors. And these people are, some people are actually, some of these guys are people that are like, I never thought I'd be speaking to a day in my life because I grew up watching movies like Friday the 13th mm-hmm. on Elm Street. And I had people I'm actually suddenly communicating with who actually help produce and direct these movies and people that actually are major former directors or people who starred in these films as major roles. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this is crazy. I can't believe I'm at this point Mm -hmm. because of what was just supposed to be a simple bodybuilding thing. Right. And then they took it and they're like, all right, well, how would you like to, you know, we got a couple films we're working on and, you know, you can look into these options and with this director, if you're interested and get in touch with him. And I did. So I got in touch with the director they referred me to. And the director who I was referred to was a great gentleman. His name's uh, James Balsmo. And he was creating a movie, which mm. going into where Andy Dick comes into play. Oh, oh, really? OK, you know what? Let's <laughs> let's talk about that in uh, just a minute here while you uh, get your thoughts together. But first, listen to the Mike Whitener show at the Mike Whitener show dot com. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at Sonic Web Studios dot com for all he needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today. One eight hundred three zero three three nine six zero. That's one eight hundred three zero three three nine six zero or email to support at Sonic Web Studios dot com. Mention the Mike Whitener show. Get 20 percent off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, check out the latest novel by well-known award-winning author Mia Motion Zia of No Time for Love called Missing, an extraordinary relationship between two ordinary people based on real-life events that go through four countries, two strangers, and one target where truth is an illusion and the ones you love will be the first to go missing. Check out the book on Amazon and other retailers available on all four ads today. Also, The Mike Widener Show can be heard on themikewidenershow.com and on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, Amazon, Audible, and coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. You can hear worldwide on Himalaya, Radio Public, and Geo7 and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel and follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with actor, bodybuilder, and fitness star and Playgirl Magazine's Derek Webb here on the Mike Widener Show. And before we talk about your movie that uh, you've been wanting to talk about for quite some time. Some of these uh, thoughts came to my mind when you were uh, talking about bodybuilding, routines, and everything else, supplements, and more. Who are some of your favorite uh, bodybuilders when you were growing up? Uh, honestly, I got to say my role model, my lead role model, was probably the man who actually influenced me into doing what I'm doing partially, too, is other than having the self-willingness to do on my own term and will, per se, was, I, was, I got to say, was Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger was like the classic, like he, you know, he seemed to do everything, you know, the way he wanted it to be done naturally. He was in the gym dedicating his blood, sweat and tears, heart and soul into everything. And he came over, you know, he had a traditional great biography as to where he came from, his livelihood, his background. And I just being a young kid watching that and then watching some of the big movies he ended up in, which ironically kind of 
followed into the same footsteps as what I'm kind of going into now, <laughs> which, is, which is kind of, which is, which is still shocks me, but I'm mm-hmm. like, you know, so oh. I'm like, you know, I see this guy going into bodybuilding to movies and then it's like, and I see, and it's like, that's, you know, as a young kid, I modelize that, role modelize that. And I'm like, you know, that's something I'd love to, you know, the Terminator films, especially like were my favorite growing up. And I guess so I got to say Arnold Schwarzenegger was definitely the man. Mm-hmm. That was who I looked up to the most and, and and of course you're talking about uh you know the routines that you've done as well too and um you know pertain to bodybuilding or like a particular um mm-hmm. li- like say i'm trying to think of the ones that were um out there it's like what 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 routine were you all modeling after like say was it modeling after arnold was it modeling after you know something you watched or what was like the routine you were doing or is just your typical normal what everybody else was doing so what was your routine um, like? I, I, I honestly, my routine was it was definitely not normal like anyone else's because anyone that would tell you like I, I gotta say like I got some crazy looks like I got some people looked at me like the head was fat like I got literally looked at like I was ten heads and I came crawling out of a coffin <laughs> like, <laughs> like but like dude but like you're crazy you got it like I actually was you know I, you know there was a 90, 98 degree hot humid sunny day and I was I literally went out running for a good two and a half two hours straight and it was high humidity ninety eight degrees out and everyone's like. How, and I like it was. I remember I was jogging by. It was a local urgent medical facility, urgent care facility. And the doctor comes. Stay, he literally took time out of his day to step outside, which I and he goes, "Dude, I envy you." He goes, "You know, you t- sitting here. I see you run. I watch you run two hours laps on this whole perimeter in this heat." I mean, I don't want to see you die, but luckily you're in the right place. I'll take care of you. <laughs> you, know, uh, you a a free doctor's up. appointment. How do you like yeah. that? <laughs> I know, right? He goes, <laughs> and then he goes, but, you know, you're doing something phenomenal that I've never seen before. So, you know, tremendously, my hat's off to you. You're doing great. And, you know, I wish I could do that. And I said, oh, no, come on, dude. You can do it. You just got to have the motivation. You got to have the self-willingness. And it takes a lot. It takes a lot of military, like, mental self-discipline to pretty much put into your mindset and have the will to want to do it and that's one thing also that inspired me honestly from my and what came from arnold and then influenced back into me into my workout regime was that having that mental self-discipline to kind of like well no there's more to life you just got to get up off the couch you got to go for it you got to achieve it you got to work hard at it any dream is possible and i've had people like especially me i'm 30 years old and i mean the reality of it is i shouldn't like 30 years old i'm sitting here today talking kind of protein stimulant but it's really proven to whey protein if you take it an hour to half hour prior to the workout and after the workout not only does it help the body and the muscle recovery phase process but it actually helps the gain the growth it helps stimulate the muscle it actually does a lot more than a lot more people think it does that actually it's really beneficial for your workout and it's beneficial for the after workout the post recovery and the pre-recovery so I'd say the whey protein was the main key. I did a lot of that mixed in with a lot of it was whey protein and a lot of big high protein meals, low fat meals, you know, eating fresh, you know, lean steak, chicken, uh, doing a lot of side veggies, garden vegetable salads, doing some, <clears throat> you know, a little mix of skim milk, you know, low fat milk, cottage cheese, uh, you know, basic nine yards. I was do- killing it with like eating my like tra- honestly my traditional breakfast, which I know most people would be like, "Oh, dude, you're giving me a stomach ache." Come on now. But my ba- my breakfast, I get up in the morning. It was eight to nine egg whites with three whole eggs. Still working out too. Another thing a lot of people don't understand. Really, honestly, I tell people this all the time. It's seventy to eighty-five percent of it is in the nutrition what you're putting in your body. It really comes down to what you're putting in your body. So, I mean, 30%, 40% of it, yeah, you need to put in the time. you got to put the dedication. you got to do the workout, commit to the program, the routine, whatever it is you may be doing. But 80% of it is what you're intaking. If you're going to sit there and take a cheeseburger and a soda before a workout and say, oh, God, at least I'm going to go work it out afterwards. So I'll be fine. No, that's not the way to look at it. You can't do that. <laughs> you can't, and, and, you, if, you know. Exactly. And, and, of course, another thing, too, what are some of the foods to avoid and what supplements to avoid as a bodybuilder? <laughs> um, all righty. Yeah, for the foods, I would strongly suggest, I mean, especially if you're – it all depends, too, on varies on everyone. Everyone's different. I mean, everyone's body is different. So, I mean, there are some out there who are just starting who are like, oh, you know, I'm trying to get bulky or I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying to shred and trying to put on mass muscle gain. So it all depends on who you are and where you're going. So, like, if you're Tom, for example, you're trying to lose weight, trying to shred, your best dieting routine would be probably high protein, low fat, low carb. So try to stick to little to no bread if possible, 
like low carbonation with like very little to no, you know, like too much high pastas and high, like oatmeal, things like that that have high carbonation in them and do a lot of high strict proteins like lean meats, chicken, steak, some poultry, eggs, and then do and like if you're going to, especially there's nothing wrong with doing regular eggs, but don't, I wouldn't overkill it, maybe three at the most, but nothing more than that in the morning. Um, <clears throat> foods to avoid. I would honestly have to say a lot of processed junk, like typical, I'm sure you hear that often and you're like, Oh, what else is new? But like, like, you know, bologna, you know, I'd say avoid the deli meats, like bologna, some, there are soups out there that are high sodium filled soups are high saturated fat and sodium filled soups, which completely deteriorate the sodium content is made. It turns so acidic in the body. It actually is proven to eat away at some muscle growth and tissue mm. tone. So it's actually not even healthy at all. I'd stay away from the sodium. So slow sodiums and low fat, high protein based diet is where where the key is in getting any job done, especially if you're trying to lose weight. And then if you're trying to gain, you're looking at more like, you know, you want to definitely try to as time. I mean, if you're especially trying to muscle gain, you don't want to just jump into it and say, oh, I'm going to eat eight large meals today. Because honestly, it ain't going to happen. If you're just starting off, that ain't going to happen like that. Right. You're going to kill your stomach. You're going to be puking. You're going to be rushing over to the hospital. You're going to be like, Dad, Doc, I think I'm dying here. I just choked down 10 eggs and three oatmeal. <laughs> mm-hmm. but, so definitely don't do that. But I would definitely suggest if you're starting off, try to ease your way to a point that you're gaining into eating more high-protein meals a day. But you're eating large, healthy meals, like maybe roughly – five to six large decent sized meals a day. And in between those meals, maybe a couple decent healthy snacks, like a high protein. Like honestly, I found beef jerky was a good snack for me. Mm, it, was high, it was high protein, but it was low in fat, low in calorie. It was great. Um, <clears throat> and very little to no sugar. So, but sugar is another thing. It's a toxin. I would avoid sugar. Sugar is definitely one of those things. A little bit of it, honestly, ain't going to be kill you during the day. A couple of scoops of sugar in a coffee here and there or something. That ain't, that, honestly, I don't find that really that hurtful in my honest opinion, but if you're going to go sit there and go all out and have multiple cups of coffee, multiple scoops of sugar, you got to think that adds up throughout the day. Then you got to consider what you're taking if you're drinking soda in between and what else in the, even the Kool-Aids like Gatorade. A lot of people, um, a lot of people don't know it, but Gatorade is even found to be not even as healthy as it was made out to be. It's interesting. All the, sh- all the sugar that's put into it, the content, hey. like if you look at, that's that's sad because everybody wants to be like Mike when you drink Gatorade. What's up with that? Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Come on. <laughs> but like, if you look at the back of a Gatorade bottle, like, and you compare it to a can of Coca Cola, you're pretty much consuming the same amount of sugar. So you might as well just be chugging down a Coke before your basketball game. You know? <laughs> so and, and you hear that, wild. Mike? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I know, right? Come on. You know, you know, no, but I, but in actuality, so there are a lot of things that, you know, there are a lot of key variables. It's what you're intaking, what you're putting in the body. And I think a lot of what you should be avoiding in my honest opinion, like I said, try to avoid a lot of the high carbs, try to avoid the sugar, the toxins, such as the processed foods and junk, bologna, salami, things like that. Just stick to lean, strict diets of like, keep to your veggie greens, especially all veggie greens, broccoli, lettuce, asparagus, things like that are beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of supplement value that have, you know, good vitamins and minerals like vitamin C, A, B, things of that nature. So, I mean, it, it very, but like I said, it varies. Everyone's in a different field. So like one person could be trying to gain, someone else could be trying to lose. The other person could be like, Oh, I'm just trying to get that happy medium, or I'm just trying to put on a little tone. So it all depends on who you are and what your goals and what your target goals are. I mean, everyone's different. There's guys that go to the gym, guys and girls who are like, oh, I want to be big. I want to look like Arnold, you know, or I want to look like Jack LaLanne, or I want to look like someone like Ronnie Coleman, who's a six-time Mr. Olympia, and I want to be huge. Well, if you want to look like that, definitely you want to eat seven to eight large meals a day, and you got to start doing it, like, soon as possible. Yeah. <laughs> and it's going to involve a lot more food, high proteins, maybe a little high fat, not too high, but a moderate size amount of fat. It, and you got to so it sorry. also depends on body shape as well too some have a small build yeah. medium build large build and everything else and i've seen some people you know with really tiny bills but they're just strong as heck you know oh, so yeah. it's like I, i've seen that before too it's like you know skinny arms but my god they can lift like 300 pounds or something oh yeah i've seen honestly i'm like i'm not gonna lie i'm not the tallest guy i'm like five six and a half five six roughly and i and i get it all the time from people at the gym my local gym i go to where i work out they tell me all the time but like or even when I'm doing my workouts at home, people drive by or they catch me jogging or working out somewhere in a public vicinity or place. So like, dude, you got some upper body strength. My God, you're you're built, dude. How do you do it? And it's like, 
And it really, it's all comes down to, like I said, what not only are you putting in for the body for nutrition, <clears throat> but you'd be surprised, like you said, height doesn't mean anything. Like a lot of people, I hear it all the time. They all, oh, you got to have the arm reach. You got those big, skinny, long arms, the big, tall, lengthy body. You, you have it all. And it's like, eh, not necessarily height, height ain't at all. You know, I mean, it helps, but I wouldn't say it's the key factor and what does mm-hmm. anything. Like, because, like I said, get short guys like myself, even shorter. I've seen guys that are like, four foot maybe even just a little bit taller still go into a gym and probably rock out more than i can even do i've seen guys look at like dude holy shit what are you doing <laughs> you know? right right so right it, it is incredible it is it is exactly too and of course you uh offer all the um the wonderful advice what to eat what not to eat the workouts and everything else now people to come to you for um advice or do you provide like any classes or consulting or training or anything like that and and if you do offer it's like how can people reach you yeah. Oh, well, then you can log on to uh, www.trainmelive.com, and I have all my personal information there with my personal email account, mail account, and I have my social media attached to them as well, whether it be my both my Facebook and my Instagram. And uh, you can log on there and catch me there, and you can actually private message me or uh, go as far as even message me through the company website at Train Me Live and. I do every week. I have online live show sessions I do, and that's every Monday from 9 to 10 p.m. East, uh, East Coast time, 6 to 7 West Coast time. And um, so you can catch me there, or you can actually just, <clears throat> excuse me, you can log on. I got my basic Facebook, which I actually do. I air weekly videos of Facebook where I do supplement and nutrition tips of advice for people. And um, as far as basic home front, you can just, I you catch me at the local gym, my local gym. I, I actually go to the zoo health constantly training tips of advice there. And I train people there for quite frequently. So you, you really, you can catch me in a number of places, my Facebook, my Instagram, trainmelive.com is a big one. I would say that's where you can really meet up with me because I do a lot of my programming through them. And I do a lot of my developmental stuff through them, especially my weekly shows I do now, which are air every Monday, Monday night I do through them specifically. And I have people all the time. They tune in, they watch and, they, I mean, it's a couple, it's several dollars for a tax included fee to, you know, obviously for the training and all that other stuff. So, I mean, there's a little surge charge and the cost for the training mm-hmm. and all the other stuff right. that come along with it. And, but. And, and of course, not only you can, uh, you know, see him trained, you can also see him on Facebook. You can also see him in the movies. We'll talk about that in just a minute. But first, listen to the Mike Wagner Show at the themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at SonicWebStudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. And check out the latest novel by well-known award-winning author Mia Motion Zia of No Time for Love called Missing. An extraordinary relationship between two ordinary people based on real-life events that go through four countries, two strangers, and one target where truth is an illusion. And the ones you love will be the first to go missing. Check out the book on Amazon and other retailers available on all formats today. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the Mike Wagner Show com can also be heard on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, along with Apple, Amazon, Audible, and coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. Also heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, and as well as um, all of your favorite podcast platforms. Take the Mike Wagner Show at the end. Any mobile device, subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel, and follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with actor, bodybuilder, and model Derek Webb here on the Mike Wagner Show. We talked about his workout routine, his um, what he does, and offering uh, coaching. And not only people, you can see him on TrainLive.com and also in magazines. You can also see him in the movies. He's got a new movie coming out. But first, let's talk about his other movies, Vampire Busters and 14 Ghosts and more. And uh, tell us about those, Derek. All righty. Yeah, 14 Ghosts is actually, that's going to be a pretty decent uh, film. Unfortunately, because of uh, just the disclosure contract I did sign with the folks, you know, related to the films, I can't, unfortunately, at least too much, you know, for spoiler reason for the script and legal related matter. But um, I mean, what I can say about them is they are going to be funny. Like they're all basic comedy. They're all pretty much based around comedy. Um, they all definitely have some action, some horror, little flick mix in. And especially 14 Ghosts, that, that's going to be kind of like a horror-comedy complexion mixture. And it's more like a, 
almost an animated dash real life sequence kind of film. I guess if that makes sense, I don't know if that makes any sense. But, I can um, imagine. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like I, I'm trying to, but, but, um, yeah. So, and I'm actually going to be, I'm going to be playing one of the guys, uh, a guy named Durgan who, uh, does, uh, that's my, going to be my character's name. And, uh, he's definitely going to be one of the guys who spins off the film with like, worrying about the well, I guess you could say worries about the paranormal activity he's experiencing and undergoing and he just he's the guy that kind of pretty much feels the paranormal and wants people to take care of it and he makes a few phone calls to make that happen so I guess that's going to be my character cast role playing that but it should be a great film and that's a duo it's actually coming out um, sometime by mid next year they're full, worth casting probably uh early mid August of 2000 next year 2021 is going to be the release date. Mm -hmm. But then the big one you're talking about with uh, news radio's Andy Dick you'd be in Hollywood's Werewolf oh, and yeah. uh, tell us about Hollywood this brand Werewolf. new movie. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, um Andy Dick will be featured in that film and that's going to be actually he's going to be I'm going to be playing Andy's uh, I guess you could say you know his ex chauffeur which he's going to he's he I guess his ex chauffeur because he's he's also uh, he's going to be Andy's the man who plays you know, Elliot, he plays the main wolf, Elliot the wolf in the movie. He plays a teacher, a guy that pretty much turns from a reality way of living into a human-like form werewolf. And he decides that he runs all over Hollywood and pretty much because that's why it's Hollywood Werewolves, the title of it. He runs all over California major interstates of Hollywood and takes, you know, takes advantage of his victims. And it's supposed to be a mixture of, I guess, horror comedy base as well. And, He's uh, one of the main. He's obviously the main player, the main wolf. I'm his ex chauffeur. I'm his ex limousine driver. I'm just a little mangy guy who used to drive him everywhere he used to go. <laughs> and now, and now here he is taking his victims and doing. And I'm supposed to be a witness to the crimes that he's committing. And I gotta just you know figure out a way to release that info that I'm withholding from the community of what he kind of a character he is and what he's doing to people. And it's definitely it's going to be quite an interesting film. And mm -hmm. um, he's and Andy Dick, especially to be featured in Andy Dick's film alongside with him, a, mm -hmm. a guy like him, a great comedian, especially mm -hmm. it's it's a phenomenal experience. And he's he's a great guy. I got to say, Andy Dick, he's a he's an awesome guy. <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> how, a, and how'd you meet Andy Dick? Um, well, actually, I didn't. Well, I didn't even meet. That's the thing is, I work. I virtually. I did the film virtually because, unfortunately, like. The way things are, the COVID pandemic, they didn't want me coming out to LA to do the film because of the COVID and everything out there is being closed down. So they actually put, they had me do my scene here and they had me script it in front of a green screen. Hmm. And it's just a weird effect how they, it was actually kind of different, but neat experience more or less. But it was where I met the, I met pretty much where I got affiliated through him through was James Balsmo, who is a Hollywood film director, who is a director of the movie himself. And he's the one who came to me. He's like, Hey, yeah, I got this Andy Dick film. I got Andy Dick in it. And definitely love to have you play a couple of roles. If you wouldn't mind be interested. And I was like, yeah, definitely. Andy Dick film. Why not? You know, <laughs> something, that's something you don't get to be in or be a part of every day. And I, uh, he offered me that position. And I said, that'd be great. And I'm hoping hoping to get out there because i'd like to get on set and actually get to a little more one-on-one -on -one time with andy dick and the rest of the guys and girls over there but unfortunately with the whole pandemic it's been put it put a tremendous damper on things so unfortunately all the camera all the vote all the um you know all the uh, filming and all that stuff had to be done virtually through pretty much just do a camera and then send in the shot and then it gets green screen. So, I mean, it is, it's a weird process. Hollywood is going through it. Cause I mean, already the few films I've been in, I can honestly tell you it's it, a lot of it is a lot of what they're doing now. They're in Hollywood and the entertainment world is all, a lot of it's virtual activity. And it's weird because even some of these well-known Hollywood directors and producers and even people who have casted in major Hollywood films that I know personally, I've already gotten, I've had the honor of speaking with and I'm now pretty good friends and acquaintance with, they've told me, look, you know, I, <laughs> I don't know. I got to virtually cast. I got to cast. I got to virtually go into this film and I'd set and it's like, yeah, it's, so it definitely puts a damper on things, but mm -hmm. I mean, for the most part, it's definitely one of those films. I think that a lot of people are going to like, it's going to be a little mixture of comedy and horror and, Especially when you got Andy Dick in the mix, you can't get any better than that. <laughs> and, you could, and you never know; you could be the next Arnold. You never know. Oh, oh yeah, no, that's uh, they, that's right for sure. You know, and um, <laughs> you know, then I got that. Then I got Alien Vampire Busters, which Alien Vampire Busters is uh, another movie. It's being directed by Robert Namer. 
um, he he's a he's a great director himself, and that's also I'm actually going to be used as a guinea pig in that movie. I'm actually going to be in a test lab, like I'm going to be. Yeah, yeah. This won't hurt. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no, right. yeah. Drill, I'm sorry, I didn't know, but I, uh, <laughs> the, no, the Y incision. No, but I uh, they pretty much. But uh, they they're going to have me in a test lab, and pretty much it's just. A, it's an alien vampire busters. It's about a group of these people that are out pretty much almost like in a ghostbuster format, but not quite, but they're doing alien vampire busting. And they're pretty much trying to uncover this big deal involving a group of miscellaneous attacking alien vampires. And I'm unfortunately just used as a guinea pig who's being done lab results and study test up on. And, um, and that's actually part of the virtual thing is they're like, oh, we need a good image of you in a, so we can put it in the green screen. Which is funny because I'm talking. I'm like, "What are you talking about? What do you guys want to do?" They're like, "Well, you're going to be laying in a tube." I'm like, "Laying in a tube?" I'm like, "This is something I don't hear." Like, "Well, yeah, you got to lay in a tube. You got to look like you're standing up or laying in a tube because you're going to be in the lab." And I'm like, "Okay." I'm like, "Well, I was like, I thought I was signing up for an actual acting gig, not like uh, I'm just going to lay there in a tube and look like an idiot." <laughs> it's like you know, it happens. Fra- it's Frankenstein whatever. makes me think of. Ugh! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that's where that comes in. I'm going to be a little test guinea pig, you might as well say. But so it's definitely, um, and that's going to be another Andy Dick film. He's going to be, a, he's also going to be co-starring in that film with me and a bunch of other people who are going to be working alongside to be producing mm-hmm. that film for and, people. And that's due out in 2021 as well. And where can we find your other films at? Um, you can right now find the film, what, oh, when they come out? Or? Well, either when they come out or the ones you previously have or anything um, you have, where can we find them? Oh, you can find them at I. You can go on to log on to www.imbd.com, which is obviously it's a major. It's a they show like a current and up to date feature Hollywood film releases and soon to be Hollywood film releases, and you can actually type under the search category, uh, you know, Hollywood Werewolf, Alien Vampire Buster, or any of these other films, and they, you'll come right up and I'll show a picture or a film description of the movie or a poster board of the movie, and I'll show you the list of cast and crew, which along the you'll see Andy Dick, myself, and the directors and the producers. And I'm already on the website. I'm listed as a cast member to all these movies, so you can see it right up on imbd.com. And um, also, like I said, if you just log on to this Facebook media pages for all these films. So if you go on Facebook and you look up into the search bar, just, you know, Alien Vampire Buster, Hollywood Werewolf, you'll see that there's a big already fan page out for the movies and where you can find some of the cast and crew and get to see some preview images and preview victor- you know, video work and pictorial imaging work and things of that nature. That is fantastic. Looking forward to it as well, too. Once again, we're with uh, actor, bodybuilder, and Milo, uh, Derek fitness star Derek Webb here on the Mike Wagner show. Just a few more things uh, before we go beyond Derek. Ah, okay. Well, I'm hoping, um, I mean, one of my hopes is like I said, my goal for a long time was to do the modeling thing and then, you know, take the mo- the bodybuilding thing, turn it into a career and then take that and turn it into a model and then maybe turn it into a movie scene, which I seem to have obviously done a good job accomplishing all that. <laughs> um, but I mean, I definitely like that my goal between now and 2021, honestly, maybe, maybe definitely get into some more, bigger bigger classy or feature different things out there for film wise and more more high high up note and then maybe get into starring who knows maybe the next big arnold schwarzenegger premiere movie or terminator you know? <laughs> <laughs> but like i guess my, my goal is to definitely be out there with the rest of everyone else and try to develop that bigger image and name and also uh i guess where i've already developed someone of that for myself there's really no other goal i could honestly set forward for myself but to say that who knows i mean I know, I know we don't really, you know, not to get into politics, but maybe I can you know, see, maybe we can discuss maybe a political office run or something. Maybe what? down the road I can what? Well, pursue that, an office. Well, that sounds good. We can talk about that another time as well, too, in 2021. And who do you consider biggest influence in your career, Derek? Um, Influence, I would have to say, once again, going back to my man, Arnold, he was... He influenced me quite a bit. He, uh, you know, just looking at everything he did in the gym physique from home, from the lifestyle he lived with the bodybuilding to then making it, using the bodybuilding, which he had to then ending up in the movies. It's pretty much what I did. I followed him in the same exact parameter footstep. I mean, I used, I did the bodybuilding thing. I used it as a hobby, then took it to use to my advantage to maybe make a career out of it. And now here I am today, now being cast in a few Hollywood films and already working on some good fitness DVD projects and some other great, beautiful things coming down the road. And I got my own, actually, I actually, right after we end this interview tonight, later this evening, I actually got to go live on iHeartRadio network 
through LA Hollywood Talk Radio because I got my own fitness segment coming up live, and that's going to be every Wednesday on our network. It's from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. It's every Wednesday. I'm going to be doing my own health and fitness segments with them. We're teaching people workout and supplement tips of advice and nutrition. So, I mean, I, I definitely I seem to, like I said, I developed quite a bit, and that's all I got to say thanks to Role Model and looking up to a great guy like himself. You know, he's taught me a lot over the years, and definitely being in a good example in leadership form is what brought Sound, me to that point. Sounds very good. And quickly, what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? <clears throat> the best advice I can give to anyone at this point, you said? Yes. Okay, sorry. Um, honestly, I got to say, keep just keep going, man. Just follow your dream. Don't let anything stand in the way. Don't let anyone or anything. And I actually, I got a motto. I tell people, I always say, look forward, look forward, don't look back. Because as soon as you stop and you look back, you're going to hesitate. You're going to pause. You're going to say, oh, I can't keep doing this. I can't go forward. I don't have enough. I don't have this. I don't have that. And you, you don't want to tell yourself that. The, cool, the, key, the goal is to look forward, keep going forward, don't look back. Just push through anything, whether, like I said, the Great Wall of China, the brick wall, the, your arch enemy, whoever it is, I don't give a crap who it is. You, you knock, not physically knock someone over, obviously, but you knock that thing over and you just push right through, man. And you just keep battling because... And then day in, day out, you'll get there. It's a matter of dreams and accomplishing big dreams and hopes. And there's so much out there, and I think it's very well possible. If I can do it, I very well believe anyone in this world is very well capable of doing it. And it's definitely well possible for anyone. And that's very true, too. Once again, Derek Webb here on the Mike Wagner Show, actor, bodybuilder, and fitness star as well, too. Derek, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Learned a lot from you. We're going to hit the gym soon. Looking forward to hearing from you soon. Do us a favor. Keep us up to date. Love you back on in 2021. And once again, tell us about your upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact oh, yeah. you? Where can people uh, check, check your works out? Where can people uh, tune into your podcast? Oh, yeah, definitely at TrainMeLive.com and Facebook and Instagram, blog on all those beautiful things. And also for the fans, also, by the way, I, we also have another movie project coming up. We, I can't say much about it, but it is a great film. It's going to be uh, Project Valentina. It's a it's, um, great director, uh, great director, John Richardson. He's a fabulous film director, and we're working closely on that project together. So that's also one of the movies I just got cast in most recently, a couple of weeks ago, matter of fact. And so I just wanted to mention that too, that it's another project in the making and that should be out soon. Eventually it's going to be a good high act action impact film. And, I look forward to working with you guys and all that, and I definitely would look forward to coming back if I can in 2021 and be definitely give you guys an update and let you know how everything's looking and we can move forward from there. Sounds great. Once again, Derek, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely great. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Keep this up to date. Love you back on in 2021 and beyond, and keep in touch. You've been fantastic. Oh, yeah. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers who are well-focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites. We give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hi, this is Mia Mohsen also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People Based Upon a Real-Life Relationship, available in print and ebook formats on Amazon. Do read it. I'm sure you'll love it. It's www.miamohsenzia.com and www.amazon.com slash miamohsenzia. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. 
Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and the MikeWagnerShow.com. Please support our program with your donations at the MikeWagnerShow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show.